A child lost in a tragic fire, a young girl who police say became the victim of murder and arson. Now, nearly 20 years later, her accused killer is under arrest. We never gave up. We never stopped fighting, and we're not done yet. Savannah, you have not been forgotten. A family is hopeful. They finally found justice nearly 20 years after the horrific fire that killed 8-year-old Savannah Streber. Tonight, new details on the accused killer arrested two decades after the tragic night in Rochester. We know this arrest will not bring her back, but we hope that it will bring you some sense of solace and that the person responsible will all, will finally face a court of law. A fire that would result in unspeakable pain for a Rochester family. Good afternoon. I'm Matt Malloy. And I'm Karen Edwards. The body of eight-year-old Savannah Streber found in her mother's bedroom on that tragic night in 2004. Years would go by until an arrest would finally come. Timothy Kuhn found in Florida. Uh, today, he faced arraignment on charges of murder and arson, accused of setting fire to the family's home on Yates Street in the winter of 2004. 13 Wham's Carly Minor is here with new details from a police briefing today and reaction from Savannah's family. Carly, good evening. Matt, Timothy Kuhn was identified as a person of interest early on. According to police, Savannah's mother, Lisa, had a no-contact order of protection against Kuhn following an assault prior to the fire. After nearly 20 years of waiting, the family of Savannah Streber walked into a courtroom to face the man charged with her death. We're just happy <clears throat> an arrest has finally been made. Timothy Kuhn now arrested and charged with intentionally setting fire to the back porch of the Streber home in 2004. On February 28th, 2004, shortly after midnight, residents on Yates Street reported hearing a loud noise then noticed the house at 17 Yates Street was on fire. While Savannah's mother, Lisa, was at work, police say a babysitter was watching several children inside the home at the time of the fire. That included Savannah, her three-year-old sister, Alex, and the babysitter's 11-year-old son. The babysitter rushed to wake Savannah and Alex. Once outside, the babysitter quickly realized Savannah was no longer with them. She attempted to re-enter the burning house, but the fire was already too intense. When firefighters extinguished the fire, they recovered Savannah's body inside of her mother's bedroom. It is believed she likely ran into the room looking for her mom. In 2018, investigators reviewed the case, prompting new information to come forward. Evidence was presented to a grand jury last month, leading to a sealed indictment. We never gave up. We never stopped fighting, uh, and we're not done yet. Savannah, you have not been forgotten. Um, let's get this conviction. A Monroe County judge then issued a warrant for Kuhn's arrest. He was found at his residence in Holmes County, Florida, and taken into custody by members of the Rochester U.S. Marshals Violent Felony Fugitive Task Force on December 28th. We know this arrest will not bring her back, but we hope that it will bring you some sense of solace and that the person responsible will all, will finally, face a court of law. Investigators say the fire was likely set by a Molotov cocktail that was thrown through the back porch. Kuhn entered a not guilty plea in court today. Matt?